Hi everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. It is December 17th. <laughs> I always have to remind myself. Um, I know what prompt we're doing today, but that, other than printing off a picture, um, that's all I've got planned. <laughs> So, I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, I have an idea, but all right. So, the prompt that we're going to do today is number four a book I want to read. So, let me check that off. And this is another one that I don't know that I need to use a full spread. Um, and again, I don't know that I even need to have a pocket for it. A pocket wouldn't be bad. If we have time and my back isn't killing me, maybe we'll come back and um, do a little decorating here, but that might happen this weekend instead. <laughs> so, and just just letting you know, I, I'm, I'm doing my best here. <laughs> this has been a very stressful two weeks for me uh, for work. So, Okay, so this is what we did yesterday. We've got our ladies there. Um, this one is done. This one's done. Okay, we do have this one, but I don't think I want to do this one for today. This one might just be an end of everything. If there's a page left over, this might be one of those pages kinds of things. Um, okay, so we could do this page. So let me keep my thumb here. Yeah, we don't need that many pockets. And I think this one, that's the opposite side. I don't know that I want to do two pocket page. Um, we could do this one. Because this would be a top loading pocket, but no, I think I'm going to do this one. Okay, so a, a book that I want to read, and I've had this in my, um, our local library has uh, an app called Libby, where you can check out uh, online books that you read on your phone, or book audiobooks. And I like to use it for audiobooks, because I like to listen to books while I'm working, or, well, doing this kind of work, not like work work. Um, and so, uh, with me changing my diet this year, there have been several books that I've wanted to uh, read, and this is one of them. And I've had this one on um, my, when it's available, let me have it. <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of want to read it right now. Um, but it's called uh, How Not to Die by Michael Greger. Um, and so, uh, here you can see a little bit more if it's something that you might want to look into, but it's his, uh, the premise of it is, um, eating foods that will help you, that, well, it says here, discover the foods scientifically proven to prevent and reverse disease. And so I think a main theme in this book is going to be cancer and how to, what foods to eat to try and avoid that. And that's not... Um, I try, don't worry, I don't have cancer. <laughs> um, you know, and if I did, I would, you know, manage it. Uh, but, uh, the, the reason I wanted to read it is because I don't want to get cancer, you know, or all these other things and diabetes and all this stuff. So, um, yeah, so I just, that's, that's a book that I want to read. So we're going to, I'm going to journal about that, um, but I'm not going to film that part of it. I mean, basically what I just said is kind of what I'm going to be journaling about. So, um, and then this picture, I just, I got this from Amazon. So, um, if you're curious, uh, let's see, number four. Okay. So that's what number four looks like. I think we might you actually use this one today. Uh, you weren't supposed to see all this. <laughs> I'm so disorganized. This is all stuff from yesterday that still hasn't gotten put away yet. So, uh, as I'm doing this, let me do some of that. Okay. So these need to go back. Needs to go there. Okay. Oh, I might as well just keep that in here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> 
stick this stuff in here. And then, actually, let me keep this out. There might be something in this that I might want to use today. So, this is just when I printed off that book pit, the book cover, um, I hate to waste an entire sheet of paper. So I just print other things, um, that I think I might use later. And so that's kind of what this is. Uh, so, okay. So what I was thinking for today's image is, uh, um, is this the right? Yeah, here. Actually it's right here. Uh, this one. I think this might be really cool to use this one. So I'm going to pull this one out. I need to just shut my book. It's trying to shut on me. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough room. Okay. So that one, uh, I'm going to do kind of another, well, I was thinking juxtaposition uh, type of thing where I have the naughty thing. Yeah, I was thinking of this image because it's got the chocolate on it and that other one didn't. So I'm gonna pull that one out too. Um, and then this one because I really wanna eat that. <laughs> um, and I shouldn't. <laughs> um, so, and as I'm doing, as I'm filming this, it's like five o'clock on the 17th right now and I'm really hungry. So. <laughs> Might need to make this one kind of a short one again tonight, so we'll see. But, okay, so there's this one again, but it's smaller, so I don't know that I want to do that. Oh, we, this is another one that I kind of thought would be good. So let's pull this one out, this one here, if you didn't see that. Uh, so, okay, put this stuff away, and since I have this open, I'm going to quickly... Put this stuff away too. So sorry that you're having to watch this, but it'll be quick. Okay. All right. So beyond beyond all that, I don't really know what I don't really know what I think. <laughs> um. So let me. Pull my book back out. Okay, so we have this, and so I'll need to back this with something so I can journal, um, which I didn't pull out, but we could use this this page, uh, this tea dyed page, or honestly, I could just journal on the back of this this right here too, which would work well. Um, so we have that, and so I'm not really planning on showing this. Maybe like that much of it can be shown. Um, so really, the rest of this page is going to be the nice pretty pictures. Um, so let's see. I'm really kind of leaning towards using this in a way. Here, now, now you can see everything. Um, using this as like a background and then maybe this can get tucked in too or oh you know what oh I just got an idea okay so is that the right way <laughs> I never know which way is up but I think we're gonna do it this way so my idea just now was to kind of create a little booklet thing that I can put this into the middle of and then this can tuck into the pocket and then we can have this down here at the bottom being all nice and pretty. I think that's a good plan. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so I need to, I don't know that we'll use this. I do kind of like the idea of having that at the bottom a snippet of it though. Um, so I may hang on to this sheet. Let's put this over here. This one's ready. All right. I'm going to cut these, um, pages out and I'll come back to you after that. Okay. So I've got these two cut out to fit the height and width of the page. 
Um, I glued this down so, um, and then I inked around this one. But I didn't ink around everything yet because I realized I'm going to have to ink again anyway if I did that. Um, and then this one is ready to be folded in half that's been inked around the edge there. So we'll put that to the side for now. But um, I don't know how many times I've shown you this, so I figure I might as well show it to you one more time <laughs> just in case. Um, no real rocket science going on here. So uh, I'm laying my page down where I pretty much want it to be. And then I'm going to, I'm using pen today because this is so dark, but um, it's really hard for you to see this. But right here is where the bottom of that fold is. And so I'm literally just, yep, putting this down where it, where it needs to be. And then I'm making a mark about an eighth of an inch down from where the top of that very corner of the fold is. And then this corner up here is gonna be my other corner that I need to use. And it's super easy. You just put this down on your mat, um, on your grid, where your top corner and your bottom mark both hit the same line. And I'm not on the same line, see? I say it's easy, but then <laughs> I almost really messed that up. <laughs> um, so those two are on the same line now. So I'm just taking my ruler. And this one, because I've glued the two pieces together, just a little bit careful on how... Well, you got to start... This one's being a little bit stubborn. Um, try and find... A corner that's gonna start easy and then you just rip and I'm putting pressure down on the ruler so that um, it'll rip well uh, so now I have my two pieces and I can ink around the edges okay so there's my page with my two pieces glued down I did actually make more of a gap here than I intended um, sometimes when that glue hits it sticks <laughs> and so I couldn't really pick it up and it's like literally down to the very bottom of the book page but it's okay not a big deal at all I don't think um, so I'm going to glue these shut and we'll have our pocket I'm gonna shut the book And hopefully we won't have any issues this time with it shifting around. Maybe a little bit. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that, you guys. This one's not too bad, though. Okay, I'm going to let it dry. And hopefully... Yeah, you can see <laughs> it's, I might need to add something down here for like decoration or something. <laughs> okay, so let's see, did we say which one was up and down? Well, I think this one I want to be the front, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold it that way. But first, I need to back this with something. And I think that something is going to be packing paper. Oh, look at that. We have the perfect size. Okay, so um, yeah, I wanted packing paper because I think this brown color is going to look really nice um, with, where did our page go? With this cinnamon. It'll. I'm hoping that because this is kind of an orangey color. Um, and then this has some orangey tones in it, and this obviously has orange. <laughs> it obviously has orange in it. Um, I'm hoping that the packing paper can kind of be a little bit of a neutralizer along with this wood here. So, um, and we can add a little bit more. I'm thinking we'll have our number. 
which will knock that back a little bit. And then if we find like a good quote or something, we can put that on there too. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to glue this down and, um, just paste it to the packing paper. Okay. So there we go. So I've got my title from my journaling. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I've got my book cover pasted in here. Now, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking <laughs> probably could use something there, but let's go ahead and stick it into the pocket and let's just see kind of how it all looks together. Okay, so here's our page and this will work. Oh, it's not. Ugh! This glue, I swear. <laughs> I should have known. Why did I even bother with that other glue? <laughs> get my art glitter glue here I don't for whatever reason it does not want to stick to this book page okay and now it's I think Fabri-Tac actually might be the best case here because that'll flex a little bit until it's dry Plus that other glue kind of left a little bit of residue, so. Okay, that should do it. This fabric track is almost done. <laughs> it's all kinds of gloopy. All right, so let's do this again. Shut the book. I'm gonna hold it down for a sec. I'm feeling like maybe we need to do a little bit more for decorating on this page. Like, it's just not quite. And actually, I'm wondering if I shouldn't. I haven't been doing this, but I probably should have done that before I just glued the <laughs> flap down. But this will help not accentuate that straight line as much, too. And so as I was doing all that gluing and cutting and inking um, without you, um, I was kind of thinking about these pictures that I've chosen and then, you know, the book that I want to read and the juxtaposition of it. This is obviously healthy. This is just star anise, which is just a spice. So that's fine. Um, but, you know, this is not healthy. This is, I guess, kind of halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> orange covered in I guess chocolate and then there's some cranberries and stuff and internally that's kind of my struggle right now still is I'm obviously eating well and healthy but I have these struggles with wanting to eat badly all the time and I just thought it was interesting how I kind of without even realizing that I mean I know I'm thinking that um obviously <laughs> Without even verbalizing it to myself, I was just doing that unintentionally. I don't know. I just think that's kind of interesting. Psyche. <laughs> so, okay. This this is going to be fine. So, let's go ahead and stick that in there. Oh, man. You're not going to see really any of the orange. Maybe we'll put it this direction. Bummer, dude. Well... I don't want that. We could put it in this way. That would be fine, I guess. It's just backwards now. Um, okay, so let's think through this a little bit. So I feel like there definitely needs to be something here. And I'm kind of thinking it's the circle number. So let's, let me cut that out and ink around it and I'll be right back. Here is our number and actually I kind of really like how that looks um so yeah maybe like right there would be really good okay yeah I like that um I'm gonna not 
glue it down yet though. So as I was grabbing for that, I noticed this one that says I can and I will, which is absolutely perfect for this because um, I know I can. It's the matter of will I do it. <laughs> Focus on the good would be another one. Um, good things take time would be another one. Prove them wrong is another one. You are doing great. I mean, there's tons of them in here. Maybe I should just <laughs> start gluing some of these down. <laughs> um, okay, so. Prove them wrong. Strive for greatness. So right there, there's already a bunch, but. Let's just see. This too shall pass. No, my life is my message. Nobody is perfect. Enjoy the little things. Dream big. You are enough. Persist. Okay. We need that one for sure. <laughs> um, live in the moment. Enjoy it all. You are, you are your best thing. Know thyself, relax, slow down, fortune favors the brave, kindness is contagious, we rise by. Okay, so I think I've got kind of some good ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some of those out, ink around them, and I'll be Okay, so here we have, I guess, five that I picked out. So we've got prove them wrong, I can and I will, good things take time, focus on the good, and persist. And as I was doing all of this just now, I was like... How did this, today's journal entry go from a book I want to read to a self-help, like, <laughs> you can do this! <laughs> but to be honest with you, for me, they do go hand in hand. Um, the reason I'm reading the book is to make sure I'm maintaining my health and, you know, everything I picked out here is absolutely correct. Um, it does gonna, it is gonna take time. I'm sure there are people in my life that don't think I can do something like this or stick with it or, you know, um, I don't, I don't, whatever. Um, and so prove them wrong does apply. I can and I will. I've done so many other great things, you know, so like, okay. So yeah, I'm now I'm just cheerleading myself on. <laughs> um, okay. So I think focus on the good maybe would be a good one for um, right here. I don't know that I want to cover up that spoon so much though. So let's see. What would that? No, I don't like that. What would this look like? Yeah, we could do this. Um, I think the rest of them probably will be in the, on this book and then maybe behind my, up here. So let's do this. So we can do this one there cause you won't see that. So I'm going to glue these two down. You won't see that when the little booklets in the pocket. So that'll be a nice little surprise. <laughs> So let's see, this one will go here. I was also thinking about what do I want to eat for dinner tonight? <laughs> I really, really want some sushi. <laughs> but I can have vegan sushi. <laughs> So we'll have this here, and that was just slightly up above, and then this one I had straddling the line there. Okay, so. I think this one's good because when you first hit the page, you're not going to know, um, unless you're me, <laughs> uh, what this entry is about. So this could really be anything, to be honest. Um, so we're taking this out and 
it's upside down. Yeah, shoot. Maybe because I don't want it to be. Oh, screw it. <laughs> it's just going to be upside down. That's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> and I'm just going to have to be okay with that. So I'm going to um, actually put my date up here, I think. So I need to do that since we're thinking about it. So we've got December 17th. Wow, so close to Christmas. I get this straight. Good enough. I say that every day. It's good enough. <laughs> um, I just saw that washi tape. And I'm wondering, because I'm like, I feel like it needs something, but I don't know what. And I just saw this washi tape and thought, hmm, that might be really cool. We could do... Maybe a washi going this direction right here. I had to put some other washi on here to contain the crazy. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Let's just put this on there and see what it looks like. Wishes and peace might be nice. Wishes, peace, and joy might be nicer. Okay. I'm on the verge of adding too much now, but I don't think, I think it'll be nice. So, and then I'll keep this for something else. Okay. I think this will add just a little something, something that the page is kind of missing. Now, getting the backing off. Yep. Okay. So now that I have that down, I'm thinking it needs, what else does it need? It needs something. It needs something that's too bright. I'm looking, wondering if this might be it. like that well it's there <laughs> I think I think I've decided <laughs> okay so let's just stick this back in here and see what that looks like because I could still take that back off it's just a little fiddly and you do see a little bit of that but I kind of really I kind of like that I think that's cute. Um, I feel like it needs something more. So I'm going to take this other one. This is from the same washi set. This is the... Focus. This is like the green. It's kind of an off color of green for Christmas. But green with stars. Kind of folky, <laughs> I think. Um, let's do that. 
Okay. It's barely there. You don't really notice it, but I think it just adds a little something. I like to do things in threes. <laughs> okay, so I feel like we need one down here, but maybe not that one. I can and I will would be a good one. So I will put that there. Okay, so that's nice. So now the other side, I think, I mean, it's upside down, but you know, honestly, I should probably put this one there and maybe both of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that and then I'll just do my journaling around that. This is, and maybe nobody's thinking this, but for me, it kind of helps me keep going in a way too, because I might be a little bit stubborn. <laughs> Nobody would ever say that about me, ever. <laughs> so, um, if I'm fighting against somebody about something, it sometimes can help me stay motivated. <laughs> so. I'm uh, not saying it's a good quality, it's just a quality, and I'm working with it. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Um, it turned out a little bit wonky, but... <laughs> Gotta keep life interesting, right? So, <laughs> put the pin back in. Alright, so, yep, here's our inside. We've got persist and prove them wrong, and then the book, again, if you wanted to... Go look for it yourself, and then <laughs> this direction, and here's the top of that. We've got I can and I will, and then here we have good things take time, and focus on the good, and there we have a journal entry for today. I kind of like how it turned out. It's a little bit busy, but um, I think it's kind of fun too, so... Alright guys, hope you had a good time and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!